What do you want? We had an agreement. That agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there. This game will be a hit. <laughs> No more sacrificing interns. They must never make a good game. Dude, the number went down. They don't need me for that. I don't think you understand. You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. On the phone, everyone! Something terrible has happened. My computer is missing! Gone, abducted, purloined, and filched! It's vanished. Kevin, what are you yelling about, dude? Computers don't just vanish. Oh, but this one did. Do you remember where I last saw it? What? No. H hey, Midge, uh, you look exhausted. Have you seen my computer? Huh? Oh, I had trouble sleeping. Your computer's missing? That's just, uh, too bad. Look, it might not be stolen. Maybe one of the engineers needed it for something. Well, I needed it for something, like everything. I can't do anything without it. Really? You can't do any of your tasks without a computer? No, Ben. It's the source of my power. A designer's computer is like their security blanket. I named mine Ralph, and I need it. And I use it to write things, too. So? Use a whiteboard. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh, it's the power strip. Must have popped out of the outlet when they took the computer. You say power strip, I say clue. What? Sure, sure. Look, Ben, whiteboards don't count. Everyone knows productivity is measured by how many right clicks you make. I'm just saying, it's better than nothing, you know? Let Jeb and Francine track down your PC. I'm gonna solve this mystery. We can't tell Francine. She's out to get me, Ben. She's not out to get you, and you have to report this to her. Leave it to me, team! Well, I can't. She's not at her desk, see? Mm -mm, no excuses. She's in the kitchenette installing the new coffee machine. Guys! What? Never fear, Detective Pilot is on the case. Oh, uh, good luck. A good technical artist is a lot like being a good detective. Let's step out some clues. The clock has stopped at 2.30 a.m. It was plugged into the same power strip as Kevin's computer. Hmm, useful information. That power strip was a clue. I should look for more. Clues, that is, uh, not power strips. Look, maybe you're just getting an upgrade. They can't upgrade me. I have too many browser tabs open, and I need them all. These water bottles are definitely not a clue. I should look elsewhere. Aha! A single can of orange soda. This is definitely just, uh, trash. You know, we never do anything with this meeting group. I should do something about that someday. Amazingly, no one has found my stash of ketchup yet. There might be a clue in the game. I'm sure there are no clues in the dumbwaiter. This is the back door to the studio. It leads to a lobby area. I'll check that out later. Hey, uh, boss? I think we had a break-in last night. What? Oh, I knew it! Someone's trying to spy on my money ideas. You can tell Bruce he can have my money ideas when he can pry them out of my cold, dead fingers. I don't even know anyone named Bruce.
This trash can looks like someone tripped over it. Perhaps someone failing a stealth check? Perhaps someone leaving a clue? Jode, you're normally the first one in. Notice anything odd today? Well, I did find an empty soda can on the floor over by the kitchenette. That could be a clue, or... Uh, no, wait. That was me. Uh, Viper, do you know where Kevin's computer went? Don't know. Don't care. This is Mosley Sinister. She looks like she's covered in pure evil. Sweet. But don't let her looks fool you. She's also evil on the inside. This window looks like it was forced open with a crowbar. Hmm. A clue. Francine picked us up back at that wacky store. I guess you never know when you might need a surfboard. Hmm. The thief completely ignored this old gaming machine. Curious. I know Francie likes to buy in bulk, but do we really need a bulk order of hammers? Hey, Timothy, my man, can you help me find this missing computer? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Good morning, New England. Welcome back to the dice bag. I'm going to find this thief, Midge. You just watch me. Uh, maybe Kevin just misplaced it. My nose of intuition says otherwise. Justice will not be denied. Um, cool. Julie, did you hear anyone break into the office last night? Go away! Huh, it looks like Sally might have been hopping around again. Something riled her up. Microwave is the smart person's way of cooking. Or a lazy person's way. Or both. Hey, hey, Francine. Kevin's computer was stolen. Will you tell Kevin he's going to have to wait? I'm busy. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Oh, joy. I feel so relieved. There's some muddy footprints here. This is definitely a clue. And there's tons you can do with a whiteboard. No, my eyes can't focus on anything that isn't backlit. I've tried. You heard it would break in last night? Uh, no. But did you know the bridge likes to hop around on its own sometimes? Oh, that's just Sally, the office tentacle. She lives in there. Huh. 
Huh, that was a lot of clues. Let's piece together what I have so far. Okay, so they came in the window, left the footprints as they crossed the studio, went to grab Kevin's computer, but Sally surprised them, and they ran, yanking the whole power strip out of the wall and tripping over the trash can as they fled. But which way did they go? Are you seriously trying to find this thief, Pylon? Of course. Someone must fight on the side of justice here. Shouldn't the police handle this? It's probably some random break-in. They could be a hundred miles away by now. They could. That's why you'll have to help me. I... what? Quick, Midge. What skills do you have? I can animate. No good. I mean the kind of skills you don't put on a resume. The real world stuff. Huh? Are you flush with cash? Can you pay off an informant? What informant? I mean... No. Do you have any contacts with the underworld? N no, not really. Can you fist fight? Huh? I'm sorry, Midge. Every member of the party has to pull their weight. That's the rule. Fine, okay. I can, uh, I can pick locks. Really? Cool. You're in, lock picker. I lauded Midge. Detectives at large, open for business. Let's go check outside. Francine? What do you want, Kevin? Well, my computer may or may not have been stolen. Yeah, I heard you shouting about it. And? And I can't do any of my tasks. And Ben thinks you can just magically design on a whiteboard instead. Oh, you know, back in the day, we used to do all our designing on whiteboards before we ever touched the computer. Oh, were you waiting for them to be invented? No, but there was nothing quite like grabbing a hot cup of coffee and working through a problem on the whiteboard. Mm, yeah, that won't work because I don't drink coffee. You should try it. Francine, how's the coffee machine looking? Almost ready. I think it'll make hot chocolate, too, for the Kevins of the world. The milk is good for my bones. All right, I, I could drink coffee if I wanted. I'll believe that when I see it. Anyway, you'll need to fill out some paperwork about your computer. No can do. Like I said, I can't do anything without my computer. <sighs> without it, I am lost. Well, when you decide to grow up, I'll have the form printed out for you. I might even have some crayons for you to fill it out with. Joan, the coffee machine is ready. Enjoy. We will enjoy it, both of us, because I'm going to have some coffee too, just like other grown-ups. So, like I was saying, you don't need a computer, or even the coffee, really. Just using the whiteboard feels right. Sure, sure, using a whiteboard makes you right, got it. But I could totally drink coffee, and I'm going to. Okay. And I will drink it. Okay. Right now. Uh, okay. Can you teach me how to drink coffee? Aha, another footprint. This thief needs to level up their sneak skill. Maybe they just wanted to look behind the bushes. Why would they do that? We know they want a computer. There are no computers back here. It might not even be the same person's footprint. Well, I found a footprint like this inside. Looks like a size 12 sneaker. Ward soles, but with a crisscross pattern. That's a pretty big foot, so I bet our thief is a pretty tall person. <sighs> this was obviously the point of entry, but not the point of exit. There are no footprints pointing the other way. Fortunately, I know where they went. Oh, you do? Come along, Midge. Ben, 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 Ben! What? Coffee is wonderful. Okay, can I get back to work now? I feel the fire of inspiration deep within my lions. There's so much to do. I need that whiteboard. Uh, there were like a bunch in the meeting room. Ah, of course. Excellent. Bye. <laughs> Francine! I thought you said you were gonna buy the office a new coffee maker thing. I did. It's right next to the sink. Hmm. Maybe it's very small. Is it camouflaged? Huh? No. I just finished installing it this morning. It should be all ready to go. Ah, uh, what now? Who took the coffee machine? Huh. Now I have to go out for coffee instead. This just ruins my whole afternoon. Thanks for the ruined afternoon, Francine. It was here. It was installed. Well, it's not now. You know, when things aren't how I expect them, it leads to golfing. Huh? If you have to go out for coffee, you might as well get the dry cleaning since it's next door. And if you're in errand mode, then you should stop by the bank and the pharmacy, too. But why stop there? Eventually, you end up at the old country club for a few practice holes. And damn it, Francine, things have got to be a certain way or I end up playing golf. This is your fault. Ugh. When I find whoever did this... I'm gonna shove that coffee machine so far up there. Uh, let me ask around, Francine. I think I know who's behind this. You let me know the second you figure out who did this. They'll wish they'd never been born. So, okay, out the back door of the studio. 
Why do you think they went this way? Deduction, my dear Midge. Why would someone come in and steal a computer and then not go out the way they came? I, I give up. Tell me. Because they saw something in the parking lot back there. Perhaps the security guard who makes their rounds at 2.30 a.m. every night. You have that memorized? They don't call me Detective Pilot for nothing. 2.30 a.m. is precisely when our thief was in the studio, according to the stopped clock. Okay, fine. Let's say they went out this way. There are probably, like, a hundred different hallways and office suites and lobbies in this complex. It's massive. Yep. So they're long gone. Might as well give up here. Ha! The thief would like that, but they don't know who they're up against. I will systematically examine every corner of this place if I have to. Okay. It'll be fun. Let's go! What in the world? Ah, Ben. Just the person I wanted to see. Kevin? Why'd you take the coffee machine out of the kitchenette? Ben, these whiteboards were a great idea! My design work has never been stronger! Kevin, the coffee machine? I moved it over here so I could drink faster. Have a cup. All are welcome so long as they seek truth and wisdom. I think you've had enough for the both of us. My spreadsheets now contain spreadsheets which contain spreadsheets. We have reached design inception. We have reached, uh... Deception. Are you vibrating? Of course, I'm vibrating with excitement. Can I tell you a secret? This place is a shrine of power. I've been working on a tabletop prototype of surfing with sharks, and I need you to play it, Ben. Huh? What? Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, jump. Nom, 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 nom. 
Ba-ding! Huh, okay. Why did you build this thing again? I'm testing ideas. I've built 17 prototypes so far. 17? How long have you been in here? Time is relative, Ben. Coffee dilates time. Everyone knows that. To me, it's felt like weeks. And did you know the patron saint of design has chosen me as the vessel through which to communicate? Dude, how much coffee did you drink? Oh, all of it. This is the best thing that's ever happened to this company, and I have the formula to prove it. Ten out of ten, here we come! But we must seize this moment. Let's do a company meeting. Uh, uh, a company meeting? We must rally the team. Meet me in the main dev pit in .7 seconds. What the? Over here, Ben. Move faster. Let's hustle. Now, I know you are all curious about why I called you here today. That meter has been stuck at four out of ten for, like, ever. But that was before today. That was before coffee. Today, everything changes. Today, we make this a 10 out of 10 game. I've got a list of action items for you all. Ben, you're going to add a sewer level. Wait, what? No way. Sewer levels are mandatory, Ben. Any game above 8 out of 10 has a sewer level. It's a no-brainer. Joan, I need you to wrap our story with callbacks to Greek mythology. References to antiquity add street cred. Wow. But let's go further. Greece vanished for a reason. Why? Did their thirst for knowledge anger the old gods? Surfing with sharks is the perfect game to ask. Did Greece go too far? Um, you do know Greece is still around, right? No way. Ooh, I had my honeymoon there. Stop it, you two. This is serious. Timothy, you're on team morale. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Viper, I've got a special task for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna do whatever you're about to say, okay? Uh, you keep doing what you're doing. Everyone is terrified of you. Right. And Midge? Hey. Where's Midge? And where's Pylon? They went off to look for your computer. Ralph? Oh, I don't need that thing anymore. I've got a new Ralph now, and it has laid bare the secrets of game design to me. See? Hey, is that my projector? Who said you could go into the storage room? I needed to, Francine. I needed to get more coffee grounds. <gasps> you! It was you who took my coffee machine. His name is Ralph Two, and he's the patron saint of game design. Put it back! Ralph Two wants to be with me, Francine! He told me so! It's... A coffee machine. And it has feelings. Now, you all have your tasks. Ralph Two and I are working on quantum superposition applications. We need to focus. Kevin, you bring back that coffee machine this instant. Kevin! Ugh. Pylon, we've been wandering around forever. Someone's gonna notice we've been away all morning. We're close to a clue, Midge. I can sense it. Or more accurately, I can smell it. What? A good detective knows when to use their nose. Take a deep whiff. What do you smell? I smell recycled air and old bricks. Anything else? I don't smell anything else. Well, my nose of intuition does. It detects the hint of circuit board and, hmm, dusty plastic. We're close. You can smell a computer? It's being masked by something. There's something buttery in the air, too. Let's find out what it is. The footprints stop. Maybe I can use my sense of smell to trap the thief. This way. These couches are pretty comfortable, actually. My nose says this is the trail. Outward, bitch. They came through here. This is, uh, the umbrella room? It's always been locked. Hmm. This trail is ten hours old. 
maybe 11. So why didn't you follow your nose before? Never over rely on a skill, Midge. We had clues before. We don't have clues now. We go this way. They were here. This direction. They really need to update the lighting over here. I've uh, never even been over here before. I think you're just making this up. And maybe you're just jealous. And this way. And here. The trail ends here. This might be the coolest door I've ever seen in real life. It's pretty cool, I guess. We have to open it. What? Kevin! Give me back my coffee machine! Man, every game I've worked on, every game, some fool wants to add a sore level. Every game! Can't we just leave him in there? So long as he's happy in there, he's not hurting anyone. Personally, I'm all for having a couple hours free from that guy. No, it's not his coffee machine. This is a matter of principle. Viper, go get your chainsaw. Hey, what makes you think I have a chainsaw? Uh, here. Look, I get it, okay? I'm a weapons guy. But I'm a discerning collector, and I feel really judged right now. Just get your damn bat instead. And do what? Bat the door to death? Francine, don't you have a key? Duh, I've tried that. He's barricaded it or something. Oh, you know, I have a bunch of nitroglycerin in my desk. Whoa, nitroglycerin? Like dynamite? Sweet. What? What the hell, Joan? Joan, I told you, you can't have that at the office. Or maybe anywhere. Well, I don't intend to keep it here. I just needed to move it. It's my good luck dynamite. Oh, Joan, we can't detonate your good luck dynamite. No one is gonna detonate anything. What's wrong with you people? Hey, team, is everyone excited about their new tasks? Kevin? What? What are you doing out here? I just came out for snacks. All this work is making me famished. Dude, are you teleporting? Uh, not technically. Okay, that is too much coffee. Nonsense. Even as we speak, I'm solving a unified theory of game design. Once I have that algorithm, well, game development is a solved problem, really. We're only minutes away. He's leaving! Quick, grab him! Rawr! What the? You thought you could just grab me? Huh, <laughs> cute. Yeah, what was he thinking? We're barely stable on this plane of existence right now. Two Kevins? Oh, dear. This is like... My worst nightmare. Worry not, friends. There's still only one of us. Right, Kevin? Right, Kevin? We're just a big old cloud of probability. We're everywhere at once and nowhere. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. And so do I. But don't forget about me, guys. I got the snacks. Huh. And to think, I hated one of that guy. We gotta get that coffee machine back. And we can't let this door stop us. We can't let this door stop us, Midge. Pylon, there's no reason anything would be behind that door. Why don't we check to see if the coffee shop baristas know anything instead, or circle the perimeter of the complex outside? Good ideas, partner, but this is no normal door. Logically, the bigger the door, the bigger the clue behind it. That's not how logic works. Behind this door is the boss clue, Midge. I can smell it. Time to show us your skills. What? Hop to it, Midge. This is your lock-picking moment of truth. <sighs> Fine. Whoa, cool. Do you always carry those? Yeah, I use them for, uh... Animating. Brr. This must be the villain's lair. We're close, Midge. It's just a walk-in fridge, okay? Happy? Can we go? But who needs a fridge in the middle of an office complex? A thief tried to make the trail go cold, that's who. Pylon, no. It's just a storage fridge for the coffee shop down the hall. They make do with what they have in old buildings like this. Sure, but that door was ancient. I wonder what they used this room for a hundred years ago. Probably the same thing they're using it for now. Storing butter. Can we go? Storing butter, yes. And evidence. Look, Midge, more footprints. Oh, damn it. 
This thief was really sloppy. The smell of computer is potent over here. Uh. Stronger over here. Stronger still? And closing in on it? Voila! One missing computer? Found. And what's this? A castle made of butter? This makes no sense at all. Okay, look. Maybe they ducked in here to hide from overnight restocking people, but they didn't realize the people were actually restocking this bridge. So the thief hid and then got locked inside and there was no way to access the locking mechanism because this door was built 150 years ago. So they just sat here carving butter castles all night until the morning shift came to fetch milk and then she snuck out again, okay? Wow, that's some god tier level deduction there, Midge. Very, very skilled work, although undoubtedly incorrect. What? No, I believe we're dealing with a true mastermind here. Our thief wanted us to find this. Uh-huh. This butter castle. This is a calling card. Our thief is toying with us, Midge. Are we worthy adversaries? They could be watching us right now. They could be anywhere. Anyone. But this game goes both ways. We too were missing something. There was a nemesis-shaped hole within our hearts. A good detective is defined by their nemesis, and ours is the Butter Castle Bandit. Oh, okay. Well, let's get this back to the office. That's it? We stop here? Afraid so. This was the end of their test. The ball's in Butter Castle's court. They're not done with us, partner. In the meantime, one computer safely recovered. Whoa! From this moment onward, we deny any knowledge of this case. Got it. I'm afraid there's only one thing that can tempt him out of there. Oh? What's that? Someone needs to give their computer to Kevin. That's what started this. Well, you can forget about mine. I've got all the employee files on it. Yeah, no. I finally got my drawing tablet drivers behaving. I'm not touching it now. What? No way. What was the secret? It was easy. You just have to- Hey! Focus! We've just got to get Kevin to stay still for a second so we can get that machine. Yeah, I'm with you, Francine. We lure him in and then unplug the coffee machine. Right. No machine, no coffee. No coffee, no multiple teleporting Kevins. I'm down with this plan. Whoa, hey, hey, what's going on here, guys? Kevin started drinking coffee. Oh, I knew this day would come. How bad is it? Bad, dude. Bad. We need a computer as bait to lure him out. Uh, any computer? Mm, yeah, so long as it's hooked up to our network. Why not use Jeb's? He doesn't even know how to turn it on. Oh, Kevin, come on out. We have a computer for you. Kevin, come do your work. It'll be just like a normal day for you. It's not working. Of course it's not working. Ralph too, the other Kevins and I have transcended the need for computing. They are such slow, fickle machines. Are you wearing the coffee machine? I've gone wireless. We are on the cusp of godhood now. We shall merge with Ralph too and become one with the flow of the universe. Such unlimited power. I thought you were working on some unified theory of 10 out of 10 game design or something. Oh, we cracked that one minutes ago. I call it the Kevin effect. We're all about godhood now. Well, don't just stand there. Tell us about this special 10 out of 10 algorithm. Well, I guess I can do it now. Should only take a moment to implement. Hmm, I've got to remember how to use one of these computer things. Been so long, I'm a bit rusty. Quick, get him! I got him! <laughs> Time to die. That's right, fools.
about halfway done. Done, you all. Done. That was fun, everyone. He's too fast. Oh, slippery bastard. Damn it, Kevin, just give us back our coffee machine. It was cute that you all thought you could defeat me, but I have grown too powerful. Now, watch and behold the beauty of the Kevin effect in its full glory. Voila! Um, dude, the number went down. Yeah, that's the Kevin effect, all right. Well, that can't be right. It must be busted. Your algorithm? Look, it's okay, dude. Just cause you're super caffeinated doesn't mean you're some genius. You're still you. Ben, no offense, but I'm the chosen one and I would know if I were dumber. So ergo, I must be smarter. <sighs> this whole thing has been a disappointment. I'm sorry to be a downer, friends, but life comes at you fast. No, oh, it's nothing to fuss about. We've all had the kind of days where the border agents discover the arsenic was in the cupcakes all along. Right, or one day you're working on ascending to godhood, right? And then, wait, what? Well, anyway, what I'm saying is that you either die staring into the abyss or live long enough that you become it. My heart is full of abysses right now, team. Hey, anyone want to barricade him in the meeting room again and see if that meter thing goes up? And furthermore, I know my formula was right. I did it on a whiteboard. It's the universe itself that must be wrong. When I ascend to godhood, I'll fix it. I'll fix all of it. Yeah, that won't be happening. What? Say goodbye to your little friend, Kevin. Francine, stop it. Ralph 2 is so much more than a coffee machine. Well, yeah, it has a hot water dispenser too, for tea. You'll never unplug it in time. At my speeds, I'll stop. <laughs> what? No! You foolish mortal! Do you have any idea what you've done? I was this close to unlimited power! I can feel the slowness creeping in. You could always buy your own coffee machine. Stop giving him ideas! I wouldn't be the same. There will never be another Ralph II. Uh, I feel like I'm walking through molasses. Gah! He's right. There'll never be another Ralph II. And we will never again see Ralph I either. <clears throat> May. May never see Ralph I. It might still be out there somewhere, but really, who knows? But this? This could be Ralph 3, Kevin. Ralph 3? Yeah, I bet it even has solitaire installed on it, buddy. Just like your old one. Oh, please. Hold up, y'all. Does anyone really think Jeb's not gonna notice a missing computer when he gets back? Um, I think I might have an idea. Hello, office. Hello, desk. Hello, comfy chair. Did you miss me? Huh, something's different. Hmm. Ah, there, much better. Gotta keep everything just the way I like it around here. Ah, yep. <laughs> 